Hello? What's up, man? Hey, son. I miss you, son. I love you, man. Miss you. I love you, too. Nothing. I just wanted to talk to you. Say what up to you. That's all. I ain't want nothing. All right, no. Yeah, I just I just wanted to let you know that, you know, besides this man-made day today, you know, you always appreciate it as my mother. I don't want you to get caught up. But look, my I don't want you to get caught up in this man made in this man made day because, you know, it's mothers that's being created every day and giving birth. And it's mothers that just should be appreciated every day. So, you know, I don't want you to get caught up in it. You know, I'm trying to walk in a um, path of righteousness. And I realize that a lot of these man-made days ain't even in the Bible. You know, so if I'm going to be of God, I can't sit here and be like, oh, happy Mother's Day, Mike. You know, you know so I just want to let you know that's that's where I'm at with it mentally. And uh, that's pretty much all I want to say. Yeah, because every day I want you to enjoy your day and know you're a good mom. That just made... May uh, 14th. What's that? 14th? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't doing nothing, man. I ain't doing nothing. I'll let you go on here. I'm going to finish this little coffee and this breakfast. So that's all I wanted, though, Ma. I got you. Okay, Ma. Play too, Ma. What it do, 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 man. Hey, man, it's your boy, King Lou, man. It's for my woke people. I'm talking about woke with your mind. I woke about your sleep, man. That's what a lot of y'all need to be telling y'all mothers. But, you know, y'all trying to please y'all family so much, you know, that you don't even get no fuck if it's right or wrong or none of that shit. You just, you want to be, you want to fit in. Well, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all want to fit in out here, man. Y'all want to be, y'all want to get them cool points for buying y'all mama something and recording this shit on the internet and getting cool points for that shit, you know, and, and your friends and shit and your sisters and your cousins, your female cousins and some sisters and shit, you know, aunties and that, and you know, they're going to look at you funny if you don't celebrate this shit. So at the end of the day, you really celebrating this shit, not even realizing the real truth of this shit. Real talk. I'm getting right into the nitty gritty. Hey, also, you know, forgive me if I curse. I'm gonna try not to. I don't even know why I started off without trying not to. But like, real talk. Today is supposed to be this day called Mother's Day, man. And I've learned a lot through the years, through my years of being on this earth. I learned a lot from wise people, from Stephen Darby to people like Woodbury to people like Mark the Messenger. And, you know, I realize a lot of things, and I look at things differently, man. You know, Mother's Day is a man-made day, Father's Day, Juneteenth, Halloween, Christmas. A lot of these days, they're not of God. They God did not create them. They're not in the Bible. So, if somebody tells you that they don't celebrate it because they believe in God, common sense is what? If you believe in God, you will walk the same walk. But a lot of y'all, you know, y'all, y'all don't want the girls talking about y'all. You know, y'all don't want mama to be mad at you. You know, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to not fit in. You know what I'm saying? And that's bad because I'm all for what's right. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. Even though we may, even if, even even though we in the end of the times, we may be in the end of the times, and, and right is wrong and wrong is right, you know, still, I, I mean, if you believe in God, you know which way to walk, you know which path to walk. So, as far as mothers, you know, it's so many different types of mothers out here that, you know, I could go on forever. I ain't going to try to talk too long about this video. You know, but I'm going to say this right now. First type of mothers we're going to start off with 
we're going to start off with you toxic mothers. Yeah, we're going to start off with y'all, man. You mothers that sit here and be thirsty to drop y'all kids off because it's Mother's Day. And you should actually keep your kids and be a good mother to them because it's Mother's Day. And it's about being a mother, right? You would think, right? Um, this is for the mothers that want to go to the club tonight because, you know, it's Mother's Day. And they deserve to have fun. And they don't have to be a mother on Mother's Day. That's a, that's a job call it. You know, this for the mothers that feel like they in competition with their son and their daughter and they trying to figure out who gonna outlast who and um, you know, they trying to look prettier than their daughter because, you know, uh, she didn't look as good as you back in her in, in, in the day. So, you know, you trying to, you know, rain on that parade. This for the mothers that's not letting they these this, this this right now, this this subject right now. I'm talking about the mothers that's overprotective of their sons and their daughters, and they won't get them no motherfucking space because they feel like, hey, I brought you in this world, I'll take you out. Ain't that some dumbass shit? But at the end of the day, yeah, and still, you still tell your kids that shit. You know, this this mothers out here that's sitting here, you know, looking at their kids, and, you know, and they looking at their son and shit. Weird as hell. Mothers looking at their son like, ooh, you so fine. Look at you. Ooh, my son, my king, hubby, ooh, ooh, all that shit to your own son. Like, you want to do something with your son. That's crazy. And, like, you know, it's mothers out here that be looking at their own daughter, looking at her like, hmm, look at her with that, ooh, who she thinks she is, and the whole time looking at her lusting for it. There's mothers out here that's lusting for their own kids, man. That just it just got me appalled because it's real mothers out here like that, man. It's mothers out here that's talking about their own kids because they need to have a conversation to talk to their friends about, and they judging the shit out their children. So they sitting here talking to everybody in the world about their own child because they don't like their mother. It's motherfucking mothers out here that don't even like their own kids, regretting that they had their ass and their kids motherfucking fifty years old now. Damn, that's crazy, man. There's mothers out here, like, that be having kids that really fuck with them and really worship them. I ain't gonna say worship like like that, but I mean, you know, honoring their parents, you know what I'm saying? Excuse my person, I'm still a person. That's honoring their parents, you know, and they getting treated horribly, you know, and just getting judged and getting preached up. Just horrible, like, it just bad, you know what I'm saying, just got the best kids in the world, but just very horrible parents, his parents out here, mothers out here, man, that's using their money to buy their children back, you know what I'm saying, they taking their son shopping two for $20,000 and talking bad about him and hoping that he just overlooking and just come on back to mama, you know what I'm saying, it's just, it's crazy because there's mothers out here that don't deserve to go through a lot that they're going through, but yeah, as far as toxicness, them, them all like them all the ways I got for them. Yeah, it's a lot of toxic mothers out here that's celebrating this stuff today. Because you know what, this is for the toxic mothers because it's of Satan. And a lot of you mothers don't even know y'all are worshiping Satan, and celebrating this day. But that's another subject. Mainly, like I'm saying, you know, it's a lot of toxic mothers out here that are undercoverly toxic, evil, hateful. And just oh my god, you should be bitter. Oh no, I can go on on and on. But to the other side of that, let's go on the other side. It's mothers out here, like my wife, my auntie, my mom too, you know, I give her some good credit, you know, give credit where credit is due. You know, she ain't the best, but she 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 I you know they deserve a Mother's Day appreciation every day. I mean, I'm not throwing no shade at nobody saying that they don't get it. Whatever's trying to make people feel less of whatever. You know, I know people that I personally know, they probably be like, well, look what he said about me. Like, so no, I ain't saying it like that. I'm just saying, I'm talking about good mothers that I personally know that deserve to be red carpet out every step they take in because they put their kids first. These are the mothers that I'm talking about right now is the mothers that are sit there, not only by their kids, some 
but they dig deep into their mental. They dig deep and they do what's comfortable for them. Oh, you smoke weed? Look, hey, I don't condone it, but go sit your ass in the basement and do that shit. I ain't finna put you out. I ain't finna, I ain't finna put you out at 18. You can come your ass back here at 35. I don't give a fuck what you do. I'm still cursing. I don't care what, you, what it is. I got you. You my child. And I love everything about you, no matter what. You know, um, his parents out here that deserve a round of applause everywhere they go because they just so strong and they just so real, so honest, so bold, so sharp. You know, they really care about their kids genuinely and they care about their surroundings. They care about how they train them up. They training their kids up and they ain't giving up on them. They ain't talking about them behind their back. If they mad at them, they saying it to their face. It's parents out here that really care about their kids, but they have bad kids. And, you know, their kids don't appreciate how good of a mother that they are. And this is not towards nobody that I personally know, none of my family or none of my friends. This is in general. This is just a video for y'all day that y'all call Mother's Day that I'm trying to educate y'all because this is not something that you should celebrate. Stop celebrating this stuff, y'all. Only if you believe in God, stop celebrating stuff. But if you don't, you can go ahead. I don't care. But I'm just letting y'all know because I used to celebrate this stuff. I used to go out, get cars for granny, auntie, cuz, wifey. You know what I'm saying? Everybody used to really go crazy. And then I thought about it when I started, you know, waking up. I say, man, what Stephen Garber just say? What did New Breed just what did they like, wow, pagan holiday. Oh, that's worshiping Satan if I do that. Oh, no, I ain't doing that, man. And then do me a favor, you know what I'm saying? If y'all could do this for me real quick, like, if it's in the Bible, comment with scripture, Mother's Day and all these pagan holidays, where they at in the Bible? You ain't going to be able to find that in the Bible, so don't even try. And that's another reason why. You know, a lot of you mothers and people, man, y'all just wrong, man. Y'all know this stuff wrong, man. Y'all know the Bible like the back of y'all hand, man. Like the back of y'all hand, and y'all still celebrating this stuff. But at the end of the day, man, that's my message to the world. You know, just do right, man. You ain't got to be following everybody else, bro. You ain't got to be like everybody else. I ain't trying to fit in no more. I ain't trying to look the best. And, you know, I'm trying to look my best. But what I mean, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, bro. You know, it's just so many different type of mothers, man. And, it's, and I feel like it's overall more toxic mothers than it is good mothers out here, man. Real talk. Mothers that sitting here disowning their kids because they look like their father. Mothers that's out here not overlooking situations and blocking the father out. No, yeah, I'm putting a putting a baby father on child support because they relationship went bad and they feel like, well, the way he lived and he ain't giving me nothing, you know. So hey, he's a bad father, not even knowing what this man going through in his life. Don't know what this man going through. Don't even know. But just feel like, hey, whatever he got, I want it because he gotta have some money. You don't know if that man homeless or nothing. You don't know what that man going through. You know, some guys, they be bogus, though. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the fathers that really do be can, you know. But I'm going to end this off by saying, you know, like, wake up, man. Stop following this stuff, boy. This stuff going to hide your damn mind. Gonna stop trying to please everybody because they talking about you behind your back, bro. And this one person that really mattered through every through this whole video that I'm talking about. And Lord knows, Lord, please forgive me for cursing so much. But God, you know, I'm really just trying to help people out here. Stop celebrating this stuff, man. This is not even a real day. Father's Day, not even a real day, bro. This is man-made population control at its all at all at its finest. My bad. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Like I always say, man, in the beginning to the end, man. Real talk, man. This for my woke people, man. And they ain't talking about, like, woke up out your sleep. I'm talking about woke with your mind, man. 